Hey guys, it's Laura from Lightning Cosplay. Wow, I know, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, but I'm finally back with a new tutorial for you. Today I'm showing you how I made my Fallout Vault suit. And that's also the reason why I'm looking so fabulous today, why I'm wearing my Vault dress, uh, which I made for a birthday party, and I'm wearing my super fabulous wig, yeah. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm a huge Fallout fan and I've always wanted to make my own vault suit. And today I'm going to show you how I made mine and also how I failed. So, let's start! As base pattern, I used the Yaya Han bodysuit pattern. I already used them in the past for my Widowmaker bodysuit and I was super happy with it. I copied the pattern onto paper. I never destroy the original pattern paper. I always make my own paper patterns. Ta-da! Lots of paper patterns. First, I made a mock-up out of a cheap, stretchy fabric. The fabric should be similar to the one you are using for your final bodysuit. If you're wondering why I'm using different fabrics, I just used my leftovers, which I had from other projects. I sewed all parts together, my mock-up seams always look like a mess. Then I tried it on and checked if I had to make some adjustments. It looked quite okay, so I started to draw the new bodysuit pattern. You can do it in front of a mirror or ask someone to help you. Then I cut apart the mock-up bodysuit. I like to work with paper patterns, so I traced the new fabric pattern onto paper to finally get the perfect and clean pattern for my vault suit. Finding the right fabric was super difficult and I didn't find one with a nice structure. So I used this blue stretchy fabric and did a little trick to add structure to the fabric. But it turned out that this actually was a bad idea. You will see it later. First I pinned down all the patterns and cut them out. To add structure to the fabric, I glued a meshed fabric on top with a thin layer of spray glue. At this time I was super happy, but yeah, as I said, I will show you later what happens. The fabric was quite thin, so I added a layer of this grey neoprene-like fabric to each piece. I started with the upper part of the wall suit. I sewed together all parts and trimmed the seams with my overlock. Then I added the top stitching to all seams with a thicker thread. The patterns for the golden border was just made with tape, fast and easy. This is the golden vinyl I use for all the golden parts. I traced on the pattern, cut it out and also added the thick grey fabric on the back side to get uh, a similar thickness like the rest of the suit. The border was pinned down and sewed on and then just the zipper was missing. Ta-da! Here I'm adding the collar. I wish I had more footage of this part, but I was super stressed at this time. For the number on the back I used the in-game screenshots as reference and traced the lines in Adobe Illustrator. And again, I'm very happy to have my laser cutter. I don't use it very often, but in this moment I'm super happy to have one. I glued the numbers on with spray glue and used the stencil to make sure I placed them in the right position. Then I sewed them on with a thick golden thread, very slowly and carefully. I'm super happy with the result. Now the pants. For the pants I didn't add the thicker grey fabric inside. I was a bit afraid that it would make the pants look kinda stiff. Again I sewed all parts together and added the top stitching. On the sides of each leg I added these pocket looking things, don't know how to call them. And one part I completely forgot to film was this padded part on the back side. Shame on me. But as I said before, I was so stressed and wanted to get this done. 
The trickiest part of the pants were the knee pads. Ralph 3D modeled them and printed them for me and I primed and sanded them until the surface was super smooth. I made a simple one part silicone mold and used Ecoflex, which is a very soft silicone, for the final pads. I dyed the transparent Ecoflex with so strong silicone pigments and poured it into the mold. I let it cure overnight. As you can see, the silicone is super soft and flexible. Silipoxy is a silicone glue, which I added to the silicone pads and the fabric to get a strong bond. Let the silicone glue cure for 24 hours. And that's it! Flexible knee pads! The wall suit has even more tiny details. Again, Ralph 3D modeled them and printed them for me. I made a silicone mold and cold casted them. If you want to learn more about cold casting, check out my tutorial video. A bit of acrylic color brings out all the details. Now the belt. You know me, I want to stay as close to the reference as possible. Ralph 3D modeled the belt parts and wow, this tiny thing has so many parts. But you know, it is always all about the details. The belt turned out so cool and I'm so happy about this perfect belt buckle. I think the shoes were the easiest part. I bought these boots which nearly looked like the ones from the game. I just had to remove the buckles and the fake fur. To make them look old and worn, I airbrushed them and weathered them with sandpaper. Sanding and adding black and brown acrylic colors are the best way to make fake leather look like real leather. I did the same with these fake leather parts I made for the arms. The last part was to glue on the cold casted details and adding the nail clamps, which are also 3D printed. Now just the wire was missing. And the wall suit was finally done. I tried the wall suit on for the first time and then this happened. The meshed fabric was not flexible and ripped. I was very fucked up. So I searched for a solution and found this fabric, which already has a structure. I wish I had found this before. So I repeated the whole process, yay! And there it is, my vault suit. This project was fun and frustrating at the same time, but I'm super happy that I finally have my own vault suit. After this project, I even was so motivated that I also made this vault dress, which was a lot easier to make because I could use a non-stretchy fabric and it was a lot easier to find a non-stretchy blue structured fabric. And I really love this one. Don't know if you can see it, but it's really beautiful. Well then, I hope this video was kind of helpful. Um, at least you've learned not to glue a meshed fabric onto a super stretchy one. Yay! If you like this video, I would be happy if you give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you don't want to miss the next video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then see you next time. Bye bye! I think this is the most fluffy wig I've ever had. It's so fluffy, feeling so fabulous. The fluff is real, guys. It's so fluffy.